Hello everybody, this is Lorraine from Canada with another Verbling class for you. This class is at a beginner level and it's called Rules of the Workplace. We're going to study using can and can't. And we have Danielle with us bright and early. How are you today, Danielle? Fine, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear yes. me? Yes. I, I hear you. Danielle, can you hear me? Yes, yes. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I hear you. Okay, good. Can we hear me again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How are you today, Danielle? Fine, thank you. Ready. Okay, I'm having trouble with my connection. I'm going to try switching my uh, internet connection, so give me a moment here. Uh, let's hope. The teacher had problems with his co her connection. Okay. Hello, Daniel. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? Fine. Okay. Waiting for <laughs> the class. Yes, yeah, she's back. Oh. Today I'm going to talk to take the class, taking the class, teaching the class. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. 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 Actually, I, actually, I see two victims in in the class. Okay, I'm trying to connect with you. Can you hear me? I'm really having some uh, internet issues today. Yes, yes, we hear you. We hear some noise. Oh. Now it's good. <laughs> I think we have a very long delay. Yeah. Because yeah, it takes a long time for my voice to get to you and back again. I think my internet connection is very bad. So I'm trying to figure out it. You haven't paid this month connection. So give me a moment here. I'll see if I can get it fixed. Um, I'm going to try switching to my uh, phone. That should work better. Give me a moment. Okay.
All right, so here I go again. I'm going to try again. I hate it when this happens. Can't connect to the network. Oh boy. Can anybody hear me? Yes. 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 Majority. Yes. Everybody hear okay. me? Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's see if we can uh, if we can make this work. Hello, Victor. Are you there? Yeah. Hello. Okay. Hi. Good. Hi. I see you in my class twice. Hi, Sam. Yes. Yes. I'm glad to see you. It's another. <laughs> okay. It's another Victor. Another yeah. Victor? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Two cool Victors. Victor. Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome to the new Victor. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. And um, Mehmet, hello. Welcome hello. to the class. Thank you. And Fabio, hi. Hi, hello, and good morning. Good morning. Okay, so hopefully this connection will hold long enough to do this class. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sometimes this happens. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you and we'll get started right away because we're kind of um, slow. Are, are people getting a lot of noise? Can you hear yes. noise or is it just me? <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. And here we go. So you should see a blue screen that says rules of the workplace. If you cannot see it, let me know. Okay, good. So we'll start with some vocabulary having to do with um, a place of business. So the very first picture, Danielle, what do you think this matches with in the phrases in green? Play computers games. Possibly, um, he's certainly using a laptop, but I think this fellow here is holding a game oh, controller. Sorry, sorry. So no, no, no. I I would have chosen the same one, but I did the lesson. So, <laughs> which one do you think it is? Wearing well, casual clothes. Yeah, wearing casual clothes. Like good, it. very yeah, good. Fabio, number two. What is this man doing? Uh, smoke. He yes, smoke. smoke. Yeah. He's smoking. Good. And uh, the next one, uh, Mehmet? Yes. Uh, oh. We are a hard hat. That's correct, yes. They're wearing hard hats. Very good. Okay, and um, Muscab, you sort of already know this one. <laughs> what is uh, happening in this picture? What is the fellow in number four doing? Muscab, are you there? Muscab, I can't hear you. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay, good. Can you see the picture? Yes, I see. Yes. What is he doing? Number five? Number four. Okay. okay. He's eating. He's, he's drinking tea. 
No, he doesn't have a cup in his hand. Oh, he we is wearing. Uh, what, what is he doing? He is doing something. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Now, now, he he play he play he play computer games. That's the one. Yeah, good, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Some, what is happening in picture five? Picture five. Mm, I think a uh, 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 I think a guy who who is a uh, park who park in uh, in front park his car in front of the office. Exactly right. Good. Yes. And in number six, the last one, Victor. Which one? Uh, first, one. Uh, the one beside some. <laughs> My my usual Victor, um, your um, picture is not showing up today. I don't see your Rubik's cube thing. Ah, uh, it's strange. <laughs> it is. Uh, it's a very weird day today. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with the internet. People's uh. pictures are gone. <laughs> so yes, for you, number six, please. Number six, it's. Drive to work. Yes, drive to work. Okay. So let's try asking and answering some questions with these pictures. We're going to make questions using do you, how often, and do you like. Uh, so um, I will ask the second Victor um, a question. Do you drive to work? Yes, I do. Okay. And Victor, where are you from? From Lima, Peru. Oh, Lima, Peru. I was in Lima, Peru in uh, oh. September. Oh, I hope you have been you have been a great time here. Yes. Okay, so Victor from Peru. Uh, I want you to ask a question of Danielle. Any question you want having to do with the pictures that we have just looked at. Um, do you smoke? And how if you do, how often do you smoke? Okay, good. I never smoke. Okay. Very good. Danielle, ask a question of Fabio, please. Fabio, how often do you wear a hard hat? No, I, I don't wear uh, usually the hard hat. Okay, so I don't usually wear don't a hard hat. Okay. okay, good. Very good. Okay, Fabio, ask um, Mamet a question. Do you uh, parking in in front of office uh, usually? Okay, so Fabio, say do you park, not parking. Oh yes, do you park? Me? Yes. Yes. I don't. Never. <laughs> Because I don't have a car. Okay, so you can say, I don't drive a car, so yeah. I never park yeah. Yeah. in front of the office. Okay, good. Uh, Mehmet, ask a question of Muscat, please. Um, how often do you play computer game? I, I, I don't play computer games. You I don't never. ever play computer games or you don't play them I at work? Yes. I <laughs> you never play computer games? I never play. I never play. Okay, good. Okay, can you ask some a question, please? Me? Yes. 
Do you drive a car? Some. Do you drive a car? I'm sorry, I I mouse uh, I mute my mouse. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I okay. I don't drive cars because in my city our um, uh, public transportation is very convenient and uh, we we is uh, very difficult to get a get a place to park my park our cars. So uh, up to now, I I don't uh, drive car. Okay, good. So now uh, I want you to ask a question of uh, Victor from Russia. Oh, Victor from Russia. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, um, do you like um, to uh, watching a movie uh, at a weekend? Okay, some. Can you please use one of the situations oh, okay. in yeah, yeah. the exercise? Okay. Yes. You can say, do you like, and then okay. something here. Okay. Uh, do you like uh, smoke? No, I, I don't. I hate smoke. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so uh, Victor, ask Victor from Peru a question, please. We can. Uh, do you how often do you play computer games? Uh, I don't know. Maybe um, once a month, I think. Okay, good. Very good. All right, let's continue. So we're going to do a listening exercise. I'm going to play um, a dialogue. It is a manager explaining to a new employee the rules of the workplace. The accent that you will hear is very British. What I want you to do is listen carefully for the things that Brett can or cannot do. So on the screen here we have in front of the office, enter the factory without a hard hat, play computer games, use Facebook, come to work late, and work on Saturdays and Sundays. So some of these they, he can do and some he is not allowed. So let's listen for them. If you all mute your microphones, it will make it quiet in the classroom so you can hear. Ready? Go. Okay. Let me explain the rules. Firstly, if you drive to work, you can't park in front of the office. That space is for the director. Over there is the factory. You can enter the factory only with a hard hat. This is for your safety. In the office building, you can't smoke. If you want to smoke, you can go outside in the car park. You can't play computer games at work, and you can't use Facebook. You can't wear casual clothes, but you can wear jeans on Fridays. Your working hours are flexible. This means that you can come to work late and go home late. But you can't work on Saturdays or Sundays because the office is closed. Okay. Would you like to hear it one more time and then we'll take up the answers? Or was it very clear and you can do it right away. Your Not choice. Work clear for me. It clear was clear? Clear? Enough. Okay. So let's try then. The first one. Uh, let's start with Victor from Peru. Can Brett park in front of the office? No, he can't. That is only for direction. Okay, good. For the director. All right, excellent. Um, Victor from Russia, number two, enter the factory without a hard hat. No, it's uh, how to say. Uh, you could okay. just say either yes, he can, or no, he can't. No, he can't. Okay, good. All right, uh, some. Can he smoke in the car park? Yes. 
Okay. Yes, he can. Good. He's smoking in the car park. Excellent. Muscab, can he play computer games at work? No. No, he can't. So remember to use the whole phrase because what we are learning today is how to use can and can't. Okay. Uh, what about uh, using Facebook at work, Mehmet? Yes, he can. Yes, he can use Facebook at work? Me. Mehmet? <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't. No, he can't. No, he's not allowed to. <laughs> okay, Fabio, what about uh, coming to work late? Can he do this? Uh, yes, uh, he can. Yes, he can. But if he comes to work late, what does he have to do? Uh, exit uh, to late. Yeah, he has to stay late. He can't just stay. come to work late and leave early. Okay, good. Uh, and we have somebody new with us here. Edwin, hello, welcome. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the class. Thanks. We're learning about using can and can't. And we have just listened to uh, a dialogue between a manager and a new employee. So uh, the last one here, uh, I'll ask Danielle. Uh, can he work on Saturdays and Sundays? Uh, no, he can't. Okay, why not? Why can't he work it's, the Saturdays? The office is closed. It's closed. Good. Excellent. You guys did great. So we are going to now put in the sentences can and can't. And this should be easy because we just did them all. So let's start with uh, Victor from Peru. Go ahead. Number one. You can't park in front of the office. Good. You can't park in front of the office. Uh, Victor from Russia. You can't enter the factory without a hard hat. Very good. And some. Whoops, it didn't go. Where is it? There it is. You can smoke Number in the car park. Good. You can. Now we're, people are leaving. <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, Muscab, number four. Muscab, can you hear me? Yes. Number four? Yes, yes, Go yes, ahead. yes, yes. <laughs> you, you, can't, you, you can't play computer games at work. Very good. Okay, Mehmet, number five. You can't come to work late. Uh, number five, please. Five? Yes. Oh, you can't use Facebook at work. Good. And Fabio, number six? Yes, uh, you can come to work late. Good. And Danielle, number seven? You can't work on Saturdays and Sundays. Okay, very good. So what do you think about the rules of this workplace? Are they fair or unfair? Uh, let's see. Some. What do you think? I think um, um, the rules is um, very fair to everyone because um, 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 you can uh, uh, work late and then you live in the office also late. Okay, so you like that idea? Is uh, do are there rules like that where you work? Mm, there's um, in my work um, there's um, a lot too much uh, rules because um, that is um, not a um, uh, big company. There's um, just a few uh, people in in the office, so we will communicate. Is um, uh, where is um, make make good for everyone. Okay. Uh, Fabio, what about uh, you? Do you think these rules are fair or unfair? Yes. <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, are, are fair because uh, in, uh, in 
in the normally place of work there there are these uh, these rules. Okay. Are there any rules here that you like especially and that you do not have where you work? Me? Uh, yes, Fabio? Yes. Uh, I can park in front of uh, the office. In, in my <laughs> job. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. Very good. Uh, Danielle, what about you? Are these fair rules or unfair? Any of them? The most I think are fair. Less the first one. <laughs> Oh, that's not fair that you can't park in front of the office. <laughs> I, I think it's unfair. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe so. Oh, my goodness, people are leaving. Uh, some, oh, no, I've already asked you, haven't I? Uh, Muscap. Yes. Uh, are there any rules here that you think are unfair? And. Can you repeat that? Are there any rules here on this page yeah. that you think are not fair? Uh, For instance, uh, Danielle thought it was not fair that he couldn't park in front of the office. Yes, he figures I, that is not a good rule. <laughs> yes, I, I park in my office, from to my office. Okay. Every day, every day. Okay, so you would consider not being able to park in front. That would be unfair. All right, good. And uh, Victor from Peru, do you think there are any unfair rules here in this workplace? Victor from Peru, hello. Hello, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. My microphone was off. Uh, ah. I think the number one is unfair, but the rest of them, I think they are fair. Okay, so you think that it's fair that even on your break, if you were on a coffee break, you would not be able to use Facebook? Uh, when I read the number four, I suppose uh, you can use when you can't use when you are working, but in a break, I suppose you can use uh, Facebook or you can go to your email, right? I don't okay. think it, the rule means you in any moment you can go on Facebook, right? Uh, if that is true, number four is unfair for to me too. Okay, all right, interesting. Let's continue. If we want to ask about rules, we can use questions with can you. Now, when we say can you, we aren't meaning just we're asking the other person. Um, we mean everybody. You being a general word to mean anyone who works there. You can also ask this question by saying can I or can we, depending on whether you're talking about yourself or, again, um, talking about your colleagues. So can you, can I, and can we all mean the same thing and you will hear English speakers ask it in all those different ways. For this exercise, we are going to use can you, okay? So the first one is done for us. We have the words smoke and car park. So we make the sentence, can you smoke in the car park? So, Danielle, I want you to do number two for me, please. Can you park where you want? Okay. Very good. Uh, Fabio, number three. Yes. Can you wear jeans at the work? Good. 
Muscat number four. Can you, can you come in to work at late? Okay, so we're going to use the word that's here. We're not going to change it. So can you come to work late? So don't change it to the gerund, okay? Come to work at late. Don't need to say at. At would be for at 1 o'clock or at 4 o'clock. But when you use the word late, you do not use at. Okay, so it's just can you come to work late? Some. Number five? Yeah. Can you take a uh, coffee break? Yeah. Good. Can you take coffee breaks? Excellent. Um, Victor from Russia? Can you drink alcohol at work? Okay, and that word is alcohol. Alcohol. Okay. Alcohol. Alcohol. Right. Good. Can I use walker? Jane Walker. I'm sorry, could you repeat the question some? Uh, can I uh, change uh, alcohol to a walker? Liquor. Walker. Mm, I think you mean liquor. Vodka. Walker. Vodka. Oh, yeah. Yeah, vodka. Yeah. Uh, vodka is a kind of drink. Yeah. Alcohol is all kinds of drinks. Oh, yeah. So if you were to say, can you drink vodka at work? Um, they may say, no, you can't drink vodka. So instead, you bring beer. <laughs> They are all alcoholic drinks. So alcohol means all of it. Beer, wine, and any spirits like vodka, rum, whiskey. So all alcohol. You cannot drink it at work. <laughs> or at least in most places. Um, okay, so we're at um, uh, Victor from Peru, number seven. Can you use Facebook.org? Very good. All right. So, Danielle, can you think of another question that you could ask a manager? Yes. What would you uh, ask him? Uh, can I take a break, coffee at, uh, at 11? Okay, so yeah. can I take a coffee break at 11? All right, good question. Fabio, think of a question. Uh, uh, yes, can I, can I knew the salary? <laughs> <laughs> can I, what's the word you used? Can I? Can I knew the salary? I got the salary part. I, I'm not sure what the word is. New. New. Can I get a new salary? No. I am, okay. Now I'm, uh, I'm uh, right. No. Can I know? Can I oh, know? oh, okay. Can I know? Um, yeah. I would Sorry. think you would ask that question before you got hired. <laughs> 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 but okay, yes. Can I know what I my know. salary is? So the word you're using is. Um, I have to use Google Chat, so please look in Google Chat. This is no. We do not pronounce the K at the beginning of no. And that word is pronounced the same way as this no. Exactly the same way. Okay. Mm. All right. So, uh, who's next? Uh, Muscat? What question would you ask the manager? Muscat, un unmute your microphone so we can hear you. Muscab, are you there? We've lost you. 
Okay, we'll have to skip and I'll ask some. Do you have a question that you would ask the manager? Yeah. Uh, can we exchange our, our, our room? Can we exchange? Exchange? Our room? Our room. Uh, meaning our office? Yeah, our office. Yeah. Uh, okay, can we exchange our office? Really? You would ask your manager that? Yeah, sure. That's <laughs> can me. I have your office and you can have mine? <laughs> yeah, that mean I, I get in your post. <laughs> okay, you guys asked some interesting questions. Uh, Victor from Russia, what would you ask? Uh, can I wear long hair at work? Oh, okay, can I wear long hair? All right. And Victor from Peru, what would you ask? Uh, can I leave work in breaks? Okay, so meaning leave the property? Yes. Okay. All right, at break time, okay. Okay, take turns to ask and answer each question from exercise three, all right. <clears throat> so let's start then. Um, Victor from Peru, ask anyone in the class the first question. <clears throat> uh, you want me to ask somebody yeah, anyone, just um, uh, pretend that one of your classmates is your manager, say their name, and then ask the first question. Okay. Victor, can I drink alcohol at work? Okay. So, oh. Victor from Russia, he asked you if he can drink alcohol at work. Uh. Maybe he's changing. Yes, of course you can. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> okay. Uh, Victor from Russia, pick a question and ask anyone in the class. Okay, Daniel, can yes. you wear jeans at work? Yes, you can. Okay. Daniel, ask anyone a question. Uh, soon. Yeah. Can you use Facebook and Twitter at work? Yes, of course. You can use your Facebook at work, and then you <laughs> okay. can pick up at any any time so you want. <laughs> it's my job of my dreams. Thank you. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, Sam, pick a, a question to ask. Uh, sure. Uh, uh, Fabio, uh, can you take a uh, coffee back? Uh, uh, of course, of course. When, uh, when I want. Okay, you are, you are answering some, so you would say whenever you want. Ah, whenever you want, yes. Okay, okay, good. This is a workplace where I don't think too much work is going to get done. <laughs> uh, okay, Fabio, ask a Muscap a question. Yes. Uh, Muscap, uh, can you wear jeans at the work? Sometimes I can. Okay, yes. in this case, uh, Muscab, we're using you as a general you. You are the manager, so you are telling a new employee what he can and cannot do. So your employee asked you, can you wear jeans at work? And you can say, Me? yes, you can, or no, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Yes, I can. Okay. So everybody says you can do anything you want. Interesting place to work. <laughs> okay. So I want you to make up some questions and answers for these pictures that you see. So we have... Um, 
visitors parking and this is um, a, a transportation system uh, where you get uh, employees being taken to and from work and here's a gentleman who is having uh, his lunch at his desk I think he was a little distracted this man over here is taking personal calls and this one is having a coffee break this one went out for lunch and this guy here is smoking his cigarette so make up some questions about these things and ask them of your classmates and uh, let's see we'll we'll go in order we'll start with Danielle you're going to ask Fabio one of these things and Fabio you can answer yeah. can I yeah. go ahead and uh, can I take a uh, transportation <clears throat> to go to the work uh, no, because uh, I'm going uh, with I'm uh, I'm go to to the car at the work. Okay. All right. So maybe what we should do here is let's ask each other about our job. So when you ask the question, ask uh, um. that one. Yeah. Or do you take okay. public transportation to work? Okay, okay. Okay. And then, Fabio, what did you say? Do you take transportation okay. to work? No. Okay. No, be because um, I, I, I live in, 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 in uh, in city, and uh, there aren't uh, a bus. Okay, there aren't any buses. Any buses. Right. Okay, good. So, Fabio, choose one of these pictures and ask Muscab about his work. Okay. Uh, do you... Do you... Do you smoke on, uh, on your job? No, I don't. No, I don't smoke. No, my job. Okay. Uh, let's maybe try asking the questions with can, or so we can use the target language of can and can't. Can, can. So right. No, 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 I can't. Okay, good. No, so I must no, I can't smoke. In your job. In, okay. In my job. Excellent. So, Muscab, you are going to ask some a question. Okay. Uh, do you, can you can you can you breakfast at the at the work at the work? Okay. Can you eat breakfast? Can, can you eat breakfast at the work? At, at work. work. At work. Good. Yes, um, I think that is impossible because uh, when I have work, so my boss can not uh, uh, allow me to uh, eat uh, best first. So I, you know, I, I will um, eat the best first um, before I go to work. Okay. So the question was, can you eat breakfast at work? So, do you answer yes, I can, or no, I can't? No. Which one? I can't. Okay, good. No, I can't. And then make your explanation. Oh, yeah. Okay? Sure, sure, sure. Excellent. Thank so, you. some think up a question to ask Victor from Russia. Okay. Uh, um, Victor from Russia. Uh, can you um, smoke uh, at work? Uh, no, I can't. Because I, 
I don't smoke and I hate to <laughs> smoke. <laughs> okay, so what you could do in that particular case is tell us whether it is possible to smoke. You can say, well, I don't smoke, but, but you, can. you can smoke in the parking lot or you can smoke or you can't smoke at all. Okay. So Victor from Russia, ask a question of Victor from Peru. Uh, Victor, can you drink alcohol at work? Yes, you can, but you will be fired after that. <laughs> <laughs> My God, it is dangerous. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, uh, let's see. We should make up just a few more um, because we have some pictures that haven't been used. Uh, Victor from Peru, choose anyone in the class and ask about their workplace having to do with these pictures. Uh, let me see. Fabio, can you park in front of your office? Yes, certainly. Every every day, there are um, a most um, uh, there are uh, very a lot of parking in front of the office. Okay, good. Remember when you're answering, say yes, yes I can or I can. no I can't. Yes I can. Sorry. <laughs> okay, yes, that's yes, all right. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to ask a question of somebody. Uh, let's see. Uh, Muscab, can yes. you can you go to a restaurant at lunchtime? Could work? you repeat that? Can you go to a restaurant for lunch when you are at work? No, 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 no! I can't. No, I can't go okay. to a restaurant. Okay, good. But I eat breakfast in my home. Okay. So uh, you now try a question. Choose somebody to ask. Me? Yes. I, I ask you a question. Okay, you can. Go ahead. Uh, this question is, uh, is the answer is uh, it's a good or it's a wrong? Your answer was fine. Okay. Okay. But now ask another person a question. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, 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 open question. Picture. Yeah. Uh, okay. Victor, can can you can you get up uh, uh, early uh, at, at the at, at the work at the work? Yes, I can. I can go at work early. I can go. I can go to work later. I have flexible schedule. Very good. <coughs> okay. So one more question, Victor. Okay. Sam, can you use your mobile phone at work? Yes, of course, because my work is um, I need to uh, communicate uh, with uh, my customer uh, for my company. So uh, every time I need to use my mobile phone to, to connect to my uh, customer, yeah. Okay, so remember when you are answering these questions to answer either yes I can or no I can't and then give your explanation, okay? Yes, sure. Okay, good. All right, so um, I've come to the end of the material for the lesson. Uh, you people are a little bit beyond beginners, so uh, it goes very fast. 
And so we have a few minutes, we have about 10 minutes, uh, where we can discuss anything about English that you would like. Uh, sometimes uh, you want to uh, know what words mean or how they are pronounced. Uh, anything at all. So go ahead. Okay. Let me go first. Sure. Yeah. How to pronounce book or book? Okay. I'm going to type it in the chat first. Okay, it is pronounced exactly the way it is spelled. You pronounce each and every letter in this word. So you start with a v sound. Vodka. Vodka. Yeah. Vodka. But yeah. Yeah. Can I pronounce a vodka? Vodka. 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 Good. Yeah. Um, what? Sometimes a V and a W get mixed up, and some people will say vodka. Yeah. And I think it is because in some languages uh, the the V is pronounced that way with a W sound, like um, and the other way around too. Is it Germans that? Uh, they have a W that's pronounced like a V, so Volkswagen is a Volks Volkswagen. <laughs> okay, so vodka. Any other words? It's correct to say, it, uh, can you park at work inside? I mean, no outside, inside. Okay, can you park inside at work? Can you park inside at work? Yes. And the other question could be, do you have your own your own spot at work? Is possible to say it? Or? Yes. Well, if you are going to um, be very clear, you would say, do you have your own parking spot at parking. work? At work, yeah. okay. If you're talking about cars and parking, yeah. Because oh. you're right, sometimes people do have a special spot uh, maybe they have number 26 spot and nobody else is to park there. You have your own parking spot at work. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Good questions. Anyone else? Wow, you have a teacher at your disposal. Any English questions? <laughs> yeah, um, I have another question. Okay. I will confuse. It's a very simple. <laughs> <laughs> what are you confused about? <laughs> I, I only say to work is um, bad, bad. Okay, you need to write it in Google Chat so I can see what you're trying to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, Google Chat or Verbling? Google, uh, Google Chat. I don't have yeah. Verbling right now. I lost oh, yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's correct to say it. Can you teach me English for free? Um, it's a correct sentence. <laughs> it's correct. <laughs> yes, it's a correct sentence. What is your answer? Um, my answer is uh, nobody can do much of anything for free. We all have to make a living. <laughs> yeah. How, how could I ask you a person, a teacher, about uh, the church? I don't know how to make the question. About. Uh, about a what? About, about uh, the church, uh, the, the course. For example, how much do you charge me for oh, a charge? charge. Okay. Charge. What is yes. the right question about that? Um, you could say, how much does it cost? How much does it cost? Yes. How much does it cost to take lessons from you? Ah, okay. Does it cost? Yes. Okay. Using or the, the other there. one you can is how much do you charge ah, okay. for your lessons? There are many ways to ask. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, so some has a question about two words that are difficult for him to say. The first one is B E D which is 
bed, bed. bed Say that yeah. some? Bed. bed. Not bed. bad. Eh. Bad. Mm. No. Try this no. sound. Eh. 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 Bed. Eh. Bad. That's better. And now the next one is B A D. Watch my mouth when I say the vowel ah. 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 Okay. Bad. Bad. Right. You see, I open my mouth. Bad. No. When Bad. I do the other word, it's bed. My mouth bad. goes sideways. Bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Bad. Bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they're confused. <laughs> yeah, I know. Those are hard sounds. Yeah. Okay, so we have um, Muscab has yes. work and walk. Yes. Yes. Work, work. Okay, so with work, we're getting a er sound. And you see what my lips do? They curl a little bit. Er. Work. 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 And when I say walk, work. my mouth opens. Work. Walk. Walk. Work. It's a little different. Your your mouth does different things. Walk. Work. Walk. Walk. Work. Good. Very good. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay. Now, Victor, we have bed. What is this? No, no. I, I think I'm a state. <laughs> okay. It's a... Uh... Debt. Oh, debt. Okay, so with this word, we do not pronounce the B. The B is silent in this word. Debt. So we just say debt. Debt. That's what it sounds like. It's not how it's spelled, but that's how it sounds. Debt. Yeah. Okay, good. Good words. Anything <laughs> else? English native speakers can note the difference between past and present in a regular verb, for example, play and plate, when people talking a little fast, you note the different plate and plate, present and past. Um, you need to write the words in the chat so I can see what you're saying. Hey. Play. Oh, yeah. play, oh yeah, play and played. Yes, they're very different. He played a game today. He played a game today. He's going to play today. So a lot has to do with how you use the verb. Um, um, he's going out to play. He played all day today. Do you hear the difference? Mm, yes, a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, I have to leave this class now. I have the very next class. Uh, yeah. It's going to be about buying clothes. So uh, if you're interested, please follow me to the next class, and I'll see you there. Uh, yeah. If not, I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you.